All right, there you go. You can say whatever you want to say now. What do you want to say? Hi, video gamers. Welcome to the PI show. I don't I hope you look in the comments to see if there's a Jurassic World game on your logo. Hope you stay safe and keep warm. Keep warm. All right. And what are you going to say now? Peace out. So you do it again. Do it. They got to do it. We got to do it right here, buddy. This is the camera here. Peace out. What's up, gamers? I'm John. This is my level of news. We'll bring you news every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. It's the top news I gather from around the web, so you don't have to. Today's Monday, September 2nd, 2024. On today's news, we've got updates on Star Wars Outlaws, Baldur's Gate 3, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater, and more. Let's get you leveled up with today's news. According to Vulture, the latest Star Wars, Star Wars Outlaws, has taken the gaming community by surprise. Set in the gritty underworld of the Star Wars universe, Outlaws offers a fresh perspective away from the typical Jedi and Sith storyline. The viewers are praising its open world design, immersive storytelling, and the way it explores the dark corners of the galaxy. This game has quickly become one of the year's standout titles, proving that there's still plenty of excitement to be found in the Star Wars universe. If you're a fan of the franchise, this is one game you won't want to miss. PC Gamer reports that Valve is making significant improvements to the matchmaking rating MMR system for their popular MOBA, Deadlock. The developers have acknowledged the flaws in the current system and are working on a full rewrite to ensure fairer and more effective matchmaking. This overall is expected to address many of the community's concerns and provide a more balanced competitive experience. For Deadlock players, this upcoming changes could mean a better, more enjoyable game with fewer mismatches and more intense battles. Windows Central brings us exciting news with the return of a long-missing RPG series, Adlier, now confirmed for Xbox. The first gameplay trailer has landed showing off the stunning visuals and deep narrative that fans have been waiting for. This revival marks a significant moment for JRPG enthusiasts, especially those on the Xbox platform, where such titles have been less common. The return of Atelier is a big win for Xbox and the community, and a must-watch for anyone who loves Japanese RPGs. According to ComicBook.com, Rocksteady Studios, the team behind Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League, is facing layoffs due to the ongoing struggles with the game's development. The game has experienced delays and mixed reactions from early previews, which have put pressure on the studio. Known for their work on the critically acclaimed Batman Arkham series, Rocksteady is navigating a difficult period as they try to meet fan expectations for the Suicide Squad. The layoffs raise concerns about the future of the studio's ability to deliver another hit. Gaming Bible gives us a look at The Spirit of a Samurai, a new action strategy game that blends traditional Japanese aesthetics with modern gameplay mechanics. The game features a unique art style and requires players to master both swordplay and strategy. Set in a beautifully crafted world, The Spirit of the Samurai challenges players to think and fight like a true samurai. If you're a fan of samurai games, this title promises to offer something fresh and deeply engaging. According to Games Radar, the director of Baldur's Gate 3 was initially shocked when early reactions labeled the game a ripoff of Divinity Original Sin 2. Even his mother called him concerned about the negative buzz. However, him and his team stood by their work confident that Baldur's Gate 3 would prove itself once players experienced the game. The RPG has since exceeded expectations, becoming a major success with its rich story and deep gameplay mechanics, silencing those early critics. Game Rant speculates on the potential game inclusions in the rumored Capcom Fighting Collection 3. Fans are hoping for the return of classics like Final Fight and other beloved fighting games. Capcom has a history of delivering strong collections that celebrate their legacy, and this upcoming collection could be another hit. Whether you're a longtime fan or new to these classics, this collection could be a great way to experience some of the best fighting games from Capcom's extensive library. GameFrader reports that Phil Spencer, the head of Xbox, recently reflected on some of the biggest missed opportunities in the company's history, including not securing exclusives like Destiny and Guitar Hero. Spencer admitted that these decisions have weighed on him, 
as both franchises became massive hits. His candid reflections highlight the challenges of making decisions in a rapidly changing industry and his commitment to learning from past mistakes to drive future success for Xbox. Nintendo Life reports that the upcoming Zelda Echoes of Wisdom will allow players to choose between normal and hard difficulty settings right from the start. This feature caters to both casual players and those seeking a more challenging experience. The inclusion of multiple difficulty levels reflects a growing trend in gaming to offer players more choice and accessibility. For fans of the Zelda series, this ensures that Echoes of Wisdom can be enjoyed by a range of players from newcomers to veterans. According to ReadWrite, after 10 long years, the popular space exploration game Starbound is finally coming to Xbox. The game, which has been a hit on PC, lets players explore vast pre-generated worlds, gather resources, and build their own bases. Its long-awaited arrival on Xbox is expected to bring the game to a new audience, expanding its already dedicated fan base. If you've been holding out for a console version, the wait is almost over. Radio Time reports that the post-apocalyptic game Atom Fall finally has a release date. The game, set in a world devastated by nuclear fallout, challenges players with survival, exploration, and tough moral decisions. Atom Fall has been generating buzz for its intense atmosphere and deep narrative, and the release date announcement has only heightened anticipation. If you're into survival games that test both your reflexes and your morality, Atom Fall is one to watch out for. Tom's Guide shares that Star Wars Outlaws has emerged as one of the biggest game surprises this year. Despite the franchise facing criticism in recent years, Outlaw has managed to impress with its focus on its criminal underworld of the Star Wars universe. Its strong narrative and engaging gameplay has made it a standout title, proving that there's still plenty of excitement to be found in the galaxy far, far away. If you're looking for a fresh take on Star Wars, this game is for you. CDR takes a long look at the best Atlas JRPGs leading up to the release of Metaphor of Fantasio. With a new game on the horizon, now is a great time to revisit classics like Persona and Shin Megami Tensei. These games have left a lasting impact on the JRPG genre and have set the stage for what's to come. Whether you're new to the Atlas games or a longtime fan, these titles are worth exploring as we gear up for the release of Metaphor of Fantasio. Price Start reports that the Tony Hawk's Pro Skater series is celebrating its 25th anniversary, sparking hope amongst fans for a new game announcement. The iconic skateboarding series has been beloved since its debut, known for its addictive gameplay and memorable soundtrack. The anniversary celebrations have reignited excitement, with many hoping that a new entry in the series could be on the horizon. While nothing is confirmed yet, the buzz around Tony Hawk's Pro Skater series is a reminder of the enduring legacy in gaming. And with that bundle of gaming news, I hope you got enough experience points to level up your gaming knowledge today. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, and don't forget to hit the little bell notification so you don't miss any new videos coming out.